So we are here with a man who needs no introduction. This is a two-time defending marathon champion at the Olympics. This man is the only person to have run a marathon under two hours. And this man represents Kenya everywhere he goes. He puts us on the world map. And he's definitely one of the world's biggest superstars ever. And I've got with me, Eliud Kipchoge. Karibu sana. Thank you. And uh, we're doing this courtesy of Isuzu. So we are here with a man who needs no introduction. This is a journey of faith. How you finish depends on how well you prepare for it. I started mine 16 years ago. From childhood, I always believed that I can be anything I set my mind to be. Eliud Kipchoge. Karibu sana. Let's talk about Isuzu. Your story with Isuzu is one of the most remarkable stories ever. Because you went to Isuzu and said, I like you guys and I want to be your But how did it work? Why Isuzu? Um, we went to Isuzu till, for till, uh, seven years ago. Yes. And you know, I was received in a good way and keeping the ambassadorial actually seat to, 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 to be in the Isuzu. Yes. But the purpose is that uh, Isuzu is our, our Kenyan company. Yes. Uh, and I believe that uh, if you are genuine enough yeah. to say, let us buy Kenya and build Kenya, yes. then let us buy Susu yes. and try the Susu. Then we are really genuine enough. Rather than only. To wear the tangas is not enough. <laughs> That's true, yes. yes. Let us have. Then to wear this bracelet it's, it's not enough. It's yes. not enough. Let yes. us have all our executive driving MUX. Yes. Or TMAX. True. And we can feel in our hearts that these people are building Kenya. Yes. So if you are not driving MUX or if you are not driving an Isuzu, yes. you are lying to our people that you are, you are building Kenya you are, and you are buying Kenya. And, and, and you actually drive a DMAX? I drive a DMAX. You drive a DMAX, yes. for real? Absolutely, yes. They made a limited edition 159 to celebrate you. How does that make you feel? Uh, I'm really... I was impressed by Susu when yeah. they made that decision. Yeah. And you know, it's a, it was a celebration for, 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 for running under two hours. And you know, it, it, uh, it embodies everything. Yes. What I'm, what I'm carrying. Yes. And it's the best vehicle ever. With the you can see that without a shadow of a doubt. It no is doubt. the best vehicle it's ever. It's the best vehicle ever. If you want to get a comfortable vehicle, yes. luxurious vehicle, yes. low consumption vehicle, yeah. just a drop in, pick an uh, 159 uh, limited edition, yeah. and go. And by the way, they're only 159 for sale. If you miss out on them, you're done. Because it's a special limited edition as we celebrate Elliot as he heads over to Paris for the Olympics. So my guest today needs no introduction whatsoever. He is an international superstar, an international brand ambassador, and the man who has put Kenya on the international map like you could never believe. He could only be the one and only Eliud Kipchoge, the first man to run under two hours in the marathon. Nice to see you again. Thank you. And uh, we're doing this courtesy of Isuzu, but let's start with Paris. Paris is coming, it's an Olympic year. How far are you in your preparations? Uh, uh, training is going on well, okay. preparation is going on well. I am on uh, about 70% of uh, preparation. Oh, your preparation? Yes, yes. Uh, still 40 days to go, yes. still time to train, still yes. time to focus, yeah. still time to, to, to really uh, uh, internalize what will happen in Paris. Okay, yes. so when, when you are preparing for a race, I think I just want to get into your mind. Now you're saying you're 70% ready, you know what you need to do to cover the other 30%. Absolutely, yes. You know? I know, yes. Wow. Now, when you run a race, 
at what point do you know I'm doing this? At what point do you know I'm sure I've got this? At what point does it happen? Uh, marathon is like life. It's a long, it's a long journey to yes. go. And you know, the first 30 kilometers actually is still, uh, uh, marathon is not yet actually started. It yeah. starts after 30, uh, whereby your muscles and your mind are started to, to get tired and yes. started to, to, to have some pain. Yeah. That's where the marathon is. But you know, at the 40 kilometers, then you can actually catch your energy. When you can catch your energy and you feel you can sprint, you can still go beyond that. That's why you can get confidence that you can win, you can cross the finishing line in a good time. And the thing is, you know how to do it. This man represents Kenya everywhere he goes. He puts us on the world map and is definitely one of the world's biggest superstars ever. And I've got with me, Eliud Kipchoge. Karibu sana. Let's start with Paris. Paris is coming, it's an Olympic year. How far are you in your preparations? Uh, training is going on well. Okay. Preparation is going on well. I am on uh, about 70% of uh, preparation. Oh, your preparation. Yes, yes. Uh, still 40 days to go. Yes. Still time to train, still yes. time to focus, yeah. still time to, to, to really uh, internalize what will happen in Paris. Okay. Yes. So when, when you are preparing for a race, I think I just want to get into your mind. Now you're saying you're 70% ready. You know what you need to do to cover the other 30%. Absolutely, yes. You know? I know, yes. Wow. Now, when you run a race, at what point do you know I'm doing this? At what point do you know I'm sure I've got this? At what point does it happen? Uh, marathon is like life. It's a long, it's a long journey to yes. go. And you know, the first 30 kilometers actually is still, uh, uh, marathon is not yet actually started. Yeah. It starts after 30, uh, whereby your muscles and your mind are started to, to get tired and yes. started to, to, to have some pain. Yeah. That's where the marathon is. But you know, at the 40 kilometers, then you can actually catch your energy. When you can catch your energy and you feel you can sprint, you can still go beyond that. That's why you can get confidence that you can win, you can cross the finishing line in a good time. And the thing is, you know how to do it. Absolutely, you know exactly yes. how it feels like. So we are here with a man who needs no introduction. This is a two-time defending marathon champion at the Olympics. This man is the only person to have run a marathon under two hours. And this man represents Kenya everywhere he goes. He puts us on the world map and is definitely one of the world's biggest superstars ever. And I've got with me, Eliud Kipchoge. So let's talk about that moment, the 159. You were there, and I'll never forget, with your arm in the air. Then there's your support team, who are cheering, maybe even louder than you. And they want the guy in front, which was you. Yes. How important is teamwork? And family being part of the team as well. Uh, teamwork actually is critically crucial than yeah. anything else. Yeah. You know, if you have the right system, yeah. then you are ready to go. And the system actually includes family, yeah. the teammates, yeah. the, 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 the coaches, yeah. the technical team, the partners, yeah. the management, all of them. Yes. If you put in one container, yeah. that's teamwork. And it plays a big role. And that's why I always say 100% of myself yeah. is nothing compared to 1% of the whole team or 1% of the whole team yeah. is critically crucial yeah. than 100% of myself. Of yourself. That's teamwork.